क्यों क्यों इंटरेस्टेड प्रोवाइड वर्ल्ड क्लास ऑनलाइन आई टी ट्रेनिंग स्टार्टिंग एंड सॉफ्टवेयर टेस्टिंग सोल्यूशन टू कस्टमर्स वर्ल्ड वाइड एच क्यू क्यों इंटरेस्टेड हाउ वी आर डिफरेंट फ्रॉम आर कंपिटर्स हंड्रेड परसेंट जॉब ओरियंटेड ट्रेनिंग हैंड्स ऑन प्रोजेक्ट वर्क क्लाउड फीडबैक रेज्यूमे प्रिपरेशन एंड इंटरव्यू मॉक इंटरव्यू रोबर्ट सिलेबस वन टाइम फी एंड लाइफ टाइम एक्सेस टू क्लासेस एक्सक्लूसिव रिकॉर्डेड सेशन विद लाइव क्लासेस एच क्यू क्यों इंटरेस्टेड has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide for a free demo class visit us at hqqinstitute.com so let's see go ahead and create some program wherein i'm going to give you have some issues with the minimum skill so right click new uh, class take an error list as it's now uh, it's kind of a collection so don't uh, worry much about it right now okay so list list equals to new program so it is kind of a bucket it is kind of an error list which we are going to have uh, to so in this case what i'm going to do is i'm just going to have a simple file so what i did was i did this file called as simply go to file okay so i have a two thing here which is this new condition is new uh, then i just need to specify the condition and in this list i'm going to have to choose add new object so i keep on adding this guy here okay so this condition will be met so I, i'm just creating an object in the uh, in a particular array list okay so when we talk about a list okay when we talk about an array right so when we say int i equals to new of int of 10 right so here we have created an array of 10 elements right so this is also kind of an array also but which we are going to talk about in uh, in the uh, coming sessions okay so just don't uh, bother much about it right so what i'm doing is in this particular list i'm just trying to add objects in it okay so at last i just want to print this object okay so i just want to print this out and i just want to print this object the way when you print an uh, Uh, any of the objects in the same way, you just kind of print it out. Okay. Now what happens basically is it comes to me on this condition, and as you can see here, this is a kind of a function in the loop. So this has this could come inside. Okay. I could have added this, but if I add this inside the uh, this actual for loop, it will give me kind of a compilation error because it knows that this piece of code is not going to be recovered anymore because this for loop is not going to end anymore okay so for that reason i have to add it right away this is going to be added now let me run this right click uh, run as dev application okay so it is it 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 is it is running right now and at one point of time we got out of memory because of this why because it kept on adding okay so if we if we look back uh, for the debug session here so i keep on uh, saying a space right so it 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 is not even going out of the memory okay so if i say f6 right it goes here it goes here on and on and on because this is an infinite loop and you keep on adding uh, memory memory if you can see me this is kind of a memory i'm adding as my list and the same thing i'll be using right now so it goes on and on okay so ultimately what happens the memory gets full Reachable code. Okay, this code is still reachable. Okay, so this will never be garbage collected by the by the dev team. Okay, so at times a disappointing case uh, when if you have a real uh, logical issue with your particular program, you might end up in a uh, memory out of memory error. Otherwise, 
it suppose your really your memory is really di- low and uh, your application is stored in multiple objects so in that case you have to go back and you have to add an extra memory to add to your application and make it run uh, what i'm going to do is i'm just going to put this inside the app so i surrounded this with a ca- cache cache block now let's see whether my code is going to come here say here that hmm? it said it's done okay now let me see that whether there's any problem here or not maybe if there is a memory issue let me see okay okay so ultimately I'm zero here, which is what I printed here, and after that it is booting out here, and at what point of time you will be getting a memory out of error. So when you get a memory out of error, there is nothing to catch on uh, catch an error here, okay? And if you can see here, this block of code is not even get uh, executed, mm, not even booting, okay? And uh, if you can see, even uh, this one did not get executed, or this one did not get executed, okay? Let us try put finally. Now let me run the same program right click uh, and then try to put so let us do not this one sorry let me double check whether it's done but if you see the code which is present in your scanner now is not executing so irrespective of whether you have any if you have a try and if in your try uh, you have some kind of issue okay so even before coming out of the complete thread Okay, this particular finally block is going to get executed finally, right? Okay. Now, let us go back to let's see what is your uh, what is the different perspective, what is the check exception, and what is the null exception. Now, till now we have spoken about your null, we have spoken about cache, we have spoken about memory, we have spoken about nested try in the cache block. You can even have multiple uh, multiple cache for a single cache block. Let us try, uh, I want to create my own user defined exception, okay. Now as you know, you are, you are already using an exception here and uh, there is some functionality which is present in your exception but still you want to create your own user defined exception and how to use that, right. Now uh, let me create, go ahead and create my own user defined exception for that reason I am going to create a package. So I am just going to say user defined Now, when I talk about uh, the user defined exception, so what I have to do is that I just go and make a bind to that. So I just create another exception. Let's say this exception here. This is going to extend your exception. Okay, so it also should come under a particular hierarchy. If you do not put that on under a particular hierarchy, there is no point in calling a cache block. Okay. Now here in this case, uh, let's say I'm going to say public. Uh, let's say private string exception. Now let's say null exception. Okay. And I'm just going to take a public my own exception as an exception. exception will be okay now here what I'm going to do is I'm going to say this dot my exception equals to and then I'll be overriding the the two string method as well right now and then I'll by overriding the two string method as well whenever anyone is going to do the uh, doing the arbitrary thing I'm just going to ignore this issue now what I'm going to do is here is I'm just going to say here user define exception, right? Plus 
what is a what is a uh, you know big picture that we get? Yeah. Okay. No, I have created my own user business description right now. That is my own description and customized it because if you see all these messages, these are not customized. These are all given by your Java system. Okay, but I want to customize my own exception as well. Right. So let us try using this right now. Uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, let's see. Go back to your Angular section in your Angular code file. New class here. User business section. So let me go here and uh, let us grab all these things. Let me just do that. Okay. So. Now what am I going to do here is I, uh, whenever there is an exception, I want to basically have my own user business exception instead of having a custom one that is automatically created for you. Now I just want to say here's my own exception in the repo. So what it says, an un un unreachable catch block triggers an unreachable catch block. Okay. No, it should be, let, let me not go to this one. session we spoke about kind of a checked exception and an unchecked exception okay now what is the checked exception what is the unchecked exception right now in the previous sections we have already spoken about kind of unchecked exceptions because if you remember if i do not put any of the code in a trend a catch block so i have no problems at all okay now if i put this put the same piece of code outside i will not get any kind of compiler error because these kind of exceptions are unchecked exceptions even though you do not put that in a trying to catch block it will not give you any kind of issues during your compiler always you will be getting any issues during your compiler okay now what is the checked exception over here okay now as you can know uh, you have seen here i have created a, a user defined exception now i'm going to use the user defined exception okay now i'm just going to say here uh, public void do multiplicity i just want to say um put let's put put void i want to say put put my own exception okay now what did i do i told that uh, whenever you invoke a particular api okay then that api will throw a kind of an exception for me right now what that exception is it could be any kind of an exception at all right now what i can do here is say let's say passing two values in here uh, int a comma int b and let me make this as a trying to catch block and here in this case i'll just try to call this do multiplicity method output passing the value world comma a okay now let's may let me make this as So that I have started getting an issue here. So let me set a type in. Let me make this as do division. Okay. Now, if you see here, uh, if I do not use my brace over here, all right, so everything is fine now. Okay, because if at all you do any kind of division, let's say a divided by b, I know I'll be getting some kind of 
to continue because in case I just put a value of 0 out here, if I click run my web application, I'll be getting a, a delete exception from here, right? Now what? You know that you are going to get an unhindered exception for sure whenever you do a division. So this is kind of a client program who is going to invoke your true division method, right? So here what, what I can do is I can just say true unhindered exception Close authentic exception, and now even your authentic exception is taking you, uh, it doesn't even give you, uh, give me any kind of compilation error because any kind of exceptions are not your checked exceptions. Okay, now what am I going to do here right now is instead of having your authentic exception, I'm going to put my own exception. So when I put my own exception out here, what it says, when you see the signature of this method, it says do division. So that means it is going to do some division out here of two numbers. But apart from that, it is going to throw a exception, okay? So as of now, I'm just telling you this manual exception. Down the line, you'll see in, in, uh, in advanced courses, there are a lot of other exceptions which are uh, being thrown, okay? And we have to catch those, ex those exceptions. Now, when you throw catch those exceptions in the sense, if you see the do division method, it is saying unhindered exception of a uh, type manual exception. What it says, surround with triangle catch block. Now, when I'm surrounding this with a triangle catch block, my compilation error is gone. So that means whenever I'm saying a method which throws an exception, it is your responsibility or any of the method which is calling this particular method or any of the program which is calling this method has to put this particular method under a inside a triangle catch block okay so these kind of exceptions are known as your checked exceptions okay because you as a client <coughs> sorry you as a client you are forced to put forced to keep that under a triangle catch block because you know that you are going to get an exception for sure and the person who has actually developed this API knows that down the line, definitely I'm going to get any kind of exception if I add a new exception out here. So I'm going to throw that kind of exception out here, okay? Now, um, let me see what is being happening right now in the client side. Let me just run my web application here. Now, again, you're getting uh, something like authentic exception and, uh, but apart from that, what you're doing is you are getting your own exception which you have printed in your code. So let us go here and see that. So it is saying here, uh, let me show you where it is saying that. So let me just use, I've just used my print e uh, prints factor. So it is actually doing that to your prints factor and it is printing that to your code, okay? Now in this case, I'll try to use my own exception and I'll try to throw some exceptions, okay? I'll do a logic out here and I'll try to throw an exception so that I will throw my own exceptions out here, okay? So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna say here, uh, okay, so if, so let me put this in trying to catch block right now, try in the catch block, because I know I'm gonna get some kind of exception out here. Now let me do this calculation or this code uh, int i equals to zero and i equals to a divided by zero, okay? Uh, now I just want to return i out here, okay? Now what I'm going to do here, going to say here is whenever there is an exception I'm just going to say throw So I'm going to say here, whenever you have any kind of exceptions out here, I'm going to throw a particular kind of exception out here saying that my own exception, I'll, I'll just say here, uh, please enter valid value to divide. Okay. So let us run this application and see what is happening right now. If I click run as job application. Okay. Now, if you can see here, whenever you are adding your own user to this application or you are trying to pass some value in here, you are able to 
to the music of the Queen of Spades and the Ballad of the Queen of Spades, right? So apart from giving you the Queen, okay, if you need it, we will give it. If you have your own, we will become the Queen. Okay? Now what you do here, you just scroll back. Whenever there is any kind of exception, show my own exception. Okay? Now even uh, I can do something like here saying that if So what am I doing here? Whenever any condition does not satisfy, I can even say throw new message, right? Or if at all something goes wrong, for now I know that this piece of code will never get executed because every time you add zero to the do division method, right? So this piece of block, this block of code is going to get executed and from here it is going to throw the exception back to the calling method, okay? Now, let me say, please enter valid value to divide from try block. Okay, so right click, run as a Java application. Uh, okay, so what are the case? There is a case of exception that is again uh, you see here if you go here, b equals to equal to zero, just throw your exception. So whenever you say throw, there's going to come to your exception block, okay? And in the exception block, what all things you have you have uh, given? The same exception is going to be caught because you're throwing some exception, and the same uh, exception is going to be caught in your try and catch block, and you're catching it as well, right? So it comes to your catch block, and in your catch block, what you're doing is you're extracting. When you say extract it, what messages you're given out here, right? You are basically going to see that it is a return. So this is, and here, what did we see? We saw we spoke about your method, about your uh, user defined exception. Then we spoke about your throw. We spoke about your throw. So whenever you say throw, that means this method, this particular thing, or kind of an exception, which you have to catch in your code. Now, if what if you comment this out? Now, whenever you comment this out, your particular program, okay, you cannot throw this kind of exception from your catch block because whenever you throw a particular kind of exception, that exception should be there in the signature of your program, okay? Now, even if you see here, your do division method does not even throw any kind of exception, so you cannot even catch this kind of exception because it says that unreachable catch block for my own exception because this method is not even throwing a my own exception. So there is no point in catching it out here. So I can basically be secure with it. Should you uh, have to say new every time you throw new? Uh, yes, yeah. We have to always create an object and we will throw that kind of thing out here. That's what I'm saying, okay? So right click, run as a Java application. So everything goes fine here. So let us not even think about exception block at all, right? So you yes, you have to always say new because you are going to create a new one out here and you are going to basically throw that out here, okay? Exception, uh, I didn't get your question, uh, Yuliya. What is that exception? Same question. It could have been E C P L. Uh huh. But I think it's come back. It it was a typo. Okay. I so you. I don't think you understood. Okay. But but it's it's the same question you asked me. All right. So one thing to uh, take care of here is that at times you might be you want to throw your own exception. Okay. So always you go with your user defined exception. You can go, there is a customization. Okay. The main objective of having a user def uh, defined exception is to customize your own exception, okay? And as I told you in the previous lecture, okay, I think uh, I don't remember the previous lecture, 
ang tumingo bali sa mismong tanan sa inyo if they say to be right they are correct if they say here be answer bali bali so right click run as a shell application okay now this is not getting rooted allowed here right now if i say here okay another equation like this say i equal to in i equal to a divided by b and i'm just going to return a right here okay before even that i say says before even coming to this piece of block it encounters that there is some fault with the value which we are getting it at an empty value so if b equals to equals to zero just throw this okay other way out i can put even put that in a try and catch block i can even throw that ultimately it is going to come to the catch block it is not going to get executed from there itself okay so this way i can even throw my own stuff Just throw the same expression, but we cannot add some extra measures to that. Okay, so for that reason, we are having our own user-defined expression. Okay. All right. Now, um, Eleven, could you please uh, write instead of O E X P what you have written before? Uh, where exactly? Uh, thirty-three. Uh, number thirty-three or whatever you. Thirty-three. Yeah, you have written uh, instead of exp. Mm -hmm. What originally you had written could you please write that? It was easy to understand. Okay. Yeah. So initially it was uh, throw new exception. Okay. Now. Uh, okay. Let me create a new method out here. And that method is going to use my user defined expression, right? So what I will do is now the question is uh, I got a built in method and uh, let me bring a method out here. So it will do some sort of calculation and again uh, there might be some kind of issues here. Okay. And uh, well let me say return well return true divided by zero. I'm just hard coding these values for now. Okay. I'm not passing anything as a as a parameter. Okay. So I think you guys are comfortable if I'm having a problem. Now here, in this case, I'll be using uh, the method out here, the true user defined expression. Now in this case, we have got IDBDB method, right? Data equation. 
பரம இருந்து உங்களுக்கு வந்து கேளுங்க நோ ப்ராப்ளம் யூ கெட் டிஃபைன் லைக் செக்ஷன் எக்ஸாம்பிள் அண்ட் ஐ ஆம் கோயிங் டு யூஸ் தட் பர்டிகுலர் மெத்தட் ஃபார் திஸ் யூ கெட் டிஃபைன் செக்ஷன் எக்ஸாம்பிள் ஸோ ஐ ஜஸ்ட் கேளுங்க ஸோ யூ கெட் டிஃபைன் எக்ஸெப்ஷன் எக்ஸாம்பிள் யூ டி இஈ இஸ் எக்ஸ் டு மீ ஆர் டிஃபைன் ஓகே அண்ட் தென் ஐ ஜஸ்ட் லிட்லி சே யூ டி மீ ஆர் this is an exception example why do you say this is an exception because it is clearly an exception and in your case you have to take this as an exception so i'll just click on uh, click over on this please stay on this kind of topic okay if you're okay to write you can even write down i'm pretty much lazy to write so i'm not writing down okay now do calculation on your u d e e yes sarah i have a very quick question yes um so when you first put um <laughs> like the like signature on the signature okay what are, why are you do why usually usually the uh, programming um uh, practice is to always set for an exception towards end of every logic right usually in programming we do that mm-hmm. and what is the purpose of asking uh, this joke okay um, when you are already doing that in your head okay okay now uh, the concern out here is let's say you you are not even saying anything and let's say you're trying you're putting everything that around the corner all right now sometimes what happens as you know there are a lot of syntax issues and misappropriation misappropriation and syntax are very very common so if you very well go ahead and do some annotation and uh, you do not even see the id of the okay at that point of time you get in trouble during run time at some at times let's say you feel that okay my piece of code is really good and it will never throw any kind of a problem you go ahead you do that there i have seen people so confident uh that they say that my piece of code is really good even i have done the same mistake at at times not now at the pre- previous stage of my experience i say okay this piece of code will never throw any kind of a problem okay so i use a particular api let's say i just say like let void um two okay so i have this api out here and it this api does lot of um, uh code here let's say this is code to calculate tax code to calculate sales all right and then what i do i invoke this particular api let me make this a smaller and i invoke this particular piece of code keeping in mind that everything should be good with this piece of code right and out of this piece of code i have got some other uh, your this piece of code started uh, giving you some kind of error it, it it has started giving you error right what do you do first thing you very well come back and do some manipulations out here but who is going to throw the guy who is going to throw he do not will analyze that this piece of code is going to throw any kind of a problem it's not going to okay let's say this tax calculation is only taking care of calculating tax till 2020 after that if some he did not even uh, keep that in mind or somehow his uh, his piece of code went wrong and till 2020 everything went fine after that till after 2020 all of a sudden when it came to 
his his quote started breaking out here and there okay so he didn't analyze those things but when he analyzes those things what he'll do is he'll say that person is guys whoever is going to use this particular api they have to put that in a try and catch log now i did not put that in a try and catch log now if i took a quote i did not put that now if you go to the steam guys what he does he just says along with try and catch log okay so for the experienced guys whenever when he did the query it, everything went fine no ex- no exception w- went wrong here he went to the catch log he did some uh, manipulation out here fine and then he calculated something out here okay ultimately to uh, for the experienced guys he did not even break the execution of the login or execution of the code when i say execution of the code starting from executing from line number 20 to line number 40 okay so nothing got broken out here everything went fine correct now how will a code even if he, he is a new guy or is a very uh, a new he doesn't have any experience how will a code saying to catch these kind of exceptions so that is when he has to say throws right throws a particular kind of exception like let me show here throws my new exception right so when you say throws my new exception even experienced guys a uh, newcomer comes in and he has this piece of code right out here right now okay let me let me put that in here so let me just copy this here it is i'll leave it here and paste it here okay now if i have this right now it is going to say okay and if i do not have this code here i'll be talking about it later so if i do not have anything like this everything goes smoothly and fine okay so ultimately what you're doing you're forcing the user to put that in a try and catch log because you know that some kind of issues are going to definitely happen when you use this kind of Let me see. Okay. Now, uh, next is why I did not get when I have put that over here. I did not get any kind of a bulk amount of data. Right? Why was I did not put that in a try and catch log out here? Reason is newer is you are going to throw an exception. this method is going to throw an exception that's what you have it out here in front of you throws my new exception okay now when i say throws my own exception this is just going to give you a bunch of data right now why does this not work because why it's such this method is taking care of so many things taking care of so many functions now as as i was saying here if you have multiple methods let's say you have your to do vision you have your uh to calculation okay there's bunch of methods to all the methods are throwing some or other kind of exceptions out here so if i say three and then three out here and i know this method is again going to throw my own exception so again i have to put this piece of code in a try and catch log along with try and catch log right so right now everything is fine instead of uh, putting a uh, try and catch log like this when you actually went ahead out here what i can do on the signature of the method okay i can just say throws my own all right so when i say throw my own exception i am just throwing this out and copy this put it here doesn't even give you an exception copy this and paste it in here okay so whenever you define uh, with the help of the signature of this particular method saying that this particular method is taking care of some exceptions this takes exceptions you can specify that on the signature of the method so when you specify the signature of the method you basically will not have to put everything in a try and catch log and you have to be very much careful of which all method you are putting in uh, put it in this way now if you have only one method uh, method call you can even do it in this way if you have multiple method calls it is always good to have each and every method in a try and catch log because this method does some functionalities which is very much important for you okay now so ram mm-hmm. i think that's all right yeah. so 
I'll be careful, you know, don't completely <laughs> transcend to, mm -hmm. you know, trying to understand the significance. I, I'm sorry to say that. But you got the concern at least? At yes, least I, I did. Yeah, yeah, yes. Thank you. Yes. Uh, we'll see. Uh, down the line, when we talk about uh, the translation and we talk about uh, what is happening in real life in terms of translation, so these things you have to handle as well in the personal and professional because this is the base. Uh, if you understand these things down the line, uh, all the exam courses are based on uh, on these all the stuff. Okay, so when we'll see there are a lot of methods which has to be used as a as which has to be put that in a triangle cross block. Why? Because those are all checked exceptions. Checked exceptions are always supposed to be put in a triangle cross block. Okay, if you do not want to put all the methods in a triangle cross block, put the signature as your my own exam. Okay, in real time, always, uh, let's say if they are listed as using B division, or let's say if the B division might be a combination of all these things. So whenever you have any of your private methods, so let's say if any, any kind of a private method, okay, private is a void, uh, or you. So always make sure that the private methods which are having, you basically throw an exception that are there, okay. Now, throw whenever you call this methods in the main method always do not make this main method as uh, my own exception which throws my own exception instead always put these things in a triangle cross block okay put all this triangle cross block okay so this is the best practice of doing it always make sure the main method which is actually calling all the trial methods and other than the trial methods that you are mentioning or especially always in, in the main method you always have a triangle cross block in this way and all the other methods they can have a throw my own exception on a single way okay pretty much clear any other questions popping up from anyone can you please repeat the points uh, there was a difference between the last part that you just mentioned um, like okay when you uh, add to the main method or just that right yeah. okay so here the concern is uh, i got the impression some calculation or it does some important things then call me that's your call let's say i want to say call me and from your call me i want to say my call okay now by while doing this kind of operation this kind of operation might throw some kind of an exception okay i uh, i basically want to say that if anything goes wrong in your call me method i don't want to handle it in your call me method itself i want to handle these kind of exceptions in your main method itself so I will render that copy there, and I'll give you the copy. Put it here. Okay, and if you see here, uh, it should be B over C. Uh, you cannot invoke the non-static method from a static method. Okay, we already mentioned those things. Uh, so you cannot make a static reference to a non-static method. Call me again from the type which is blah blah blah. Okay, so again you have to make use of this one. Okay, now call me. I say call me out here, right? Now, since this is a main method, since this is a main method, okay, you in the main method, you will do a lot of, uh, lot of logic, right? Uh, let's say just for explanation, you'll say call me, and then you'll say B division, okay? Now, there are a lot of, a bunch of APIs you might call in your main method itself, okay? Now, always, whenever you are making uh, any of the, calls in your main method do not make that main method as throws okay throws my own exception or any kind of exception do not put that in your method signature block because in a difficult when you have any kind of issues with your grammar you cannot basically throws my own exception okay you cannot basically stack or if anything goes wrong out here automatically from here itself the execution starts 
So it's always make sure that when you are using these methods, always as a private method, so this throws exception, do not put anything in a try and catch block, that's well and good. But all these methods, in your main method, put that in a try and catch block so that you handle your exceptions properly in your code so that you basically do not disturb the speech of your user. don't put this in a in a signature of this signature as a throws exception in your main method or you can call it a main method any kind of method which is your main uh, main method which is when we talk about uh, the actual transaction okay there will be some callback methods uh, which will be automatically invoked by your uh, by your container okay so by your system itself so on those methods you you should never put anything on the signature itself always you put everything in a try and a catch block with catch and something with exception. Okay. Okay. All right. Any concerns? There are no concerns. Uh, I hope uh, I don't know. Victor, if you get, please practice this. And one last question. So I'm going to create a human and go for public void and okay, okay. And the time I declared this, I just said store. I did an override of this particular method and I got this particular error. And I should get the exception if I do this. The exception human behavior is actually showing as a human too. But your subclass human exception human overriding the method but again it is throwing some exception again okay even i can say exception itself i can use the same thing or i can use a signature lower than that uh, sorry i can use an exception lower than the exception now when i say lower than the exception if you see exception right so if you see my own exception is actually extending your exception class okay so for that reason when we talk about your subclasses cannot throw an exception higher than the exception which is present in your C subclass itself. Okay, always you will be getting a compile time error. It says that exception is not compatible with the throws clause in your human dot human behavior. Okay, this is an interview question. It's one of the important concept. It is uh, the guy who are well experienced, they understand this because whoever is writing a, a question for me, they have to catch up all these things. No doubt, uh, when you write all these things in your application ID, they will probably give you a lot of error because it's all compatible with your exception class. Okay, so never ever throw or you cannot ever throw an exception uh, which is your. I mean, in which your 
Tutti i clan sono stati a San Francisco per tanti anni, clan sono stati a Sì, però io sono a Stato. Sì. Uh, Inizio di Sì, poi c'è Sì, prima di Rosso. The same thing goes for when we talk about other expressions also down the line. Uh, when we say a lot of other expressions, we will come to know what are the other expressions present if you can see there are a lot of other expressions present and still a lot more we are going to see uh, in the next part so from here we are going to complete our expression handling and in a few minutes uh, we'll talk about some of the study concepts okay so once we have finished about reading concepts we will talk about the collections okay and once we uh, finish the collections we will be talking about the introductory vibrations or we can basically cover all that and and I'll decide what to do next. Any more questions uh, from anyone? Uh, so uh, could you please include me in your uh, student list because uh, uh, I'm not getting any mail or uh, uh, the, the recording the link in the mail. The mail link is probably uh, in the MCQ today for sure. Uh, okay. If you can do one thing, consider mailing to me and uh, 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 yeah I, let me the email id can be also yeah you can shoot out an email to me and uh, i'll just forward it to your mentor okay great so yeah this is fatima i need the details please i am not getting any emails or uh, different from our competitors. 100% job owners and training, hands-on project work, cloud setback, resume preparation and review, mock interview, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recording sessions and live classes. H2K Institute has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinstitute.com. 